So Dan, we just uh, finished our coverage of the Microsoft press briefing. We did. What'd you think? I thought for the second straight year, it was pretty, uh, pretty underwhelming. There wasn't a lot of totally new stuff there the way you kind of would like to see at a press briefing. I wouldn't say there's any big surprise at all. I mean, did they even like, I mean, they announced kind of those world premieres of like uh, Loco Cycle or Matter, which they didn't really show anything of. But like, other than that, the big ones were Black Ops which was the same mission I saw, you know, a couple months ago when we wrote about. Like, I mean, right. that's been out there. Uh, and then Halo, I mean, that was, they started pretty strong with a new Halo I mean, stuff. the Halo 4 stuff was cool. They had that, like, live action trailer thing that I think was kind of showing off the direction multiplayer is going to be going. And they kind of seamlessly tied it in with campaign, which I thought was a smart idea to indicate that there's kind of going to be connections there going on. And then we got to see some actual gameplay down on this crazy new planet with Master Chief running around in first person. And we saw the new enemy types, which presumably are some variation on like the Forerunners now. Or That's what those like weapons that. are, those new weapons were Forerunner. Well, right, we've never seen the actual Forerunners in person in, in uh, any of the games. They've been right. in some of the novels and everything. Uh, but these are either actual Forerunners or some weird like offshoot mechanical variation of them or something. But they were pretty cool looking like new enemies. They, they kind of had like drones that popped out of their back and flew mm -hmm. around and attacked from the air. And Weird skull, like fire skull things. Right, 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 yeah. right. And they were like warping around the battlefield. All stuff was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I thought Halo 4 was pretty good showing. It was a good way to start the show, I think. But then they went right back to the well of just shoving Kinect down our throats, which they, they want us to care about it so, so much. And I just, I have not seen, I own one. I bought one at launch and like, I just don't play it. And every time I see that they're focusing on Kinect during these press conferences, I'm just like, just show me real games. Show me things I'm gonna get excited about. For sure. You know, Dance Central, okay, I got it. <laughs> Fitness thing, okay, I'll, if it works, that's great. But right. we did get a new Dance Central. That was one of the, I guess you could say a big announcement. I mean, Dance Central is a big property for them, even yeah. if it's maybe not uh, a total big like core game. Dance right. Central 3, I guess their big celebrity uh, inclusion is Usher. They had a big performance by him, yeah. which was sort of interesting. We did see uh, something we knew about, but most of the world didn't know too much about was Gears of War Judgment. Yes, we did the, uh, we've got our coverage for the whole month basically. It's our current cover. So, yeah, totally. Uh, I just put up the hands-on of the multiplayer mode, uh, the new overrun mode, so you can check that out you um but, <laughs> not you um but check they, it out yeah they, they didn't show much and actually yeah the trailer they showed was different than the one that they showed us when we were at epic that they were planning on so yeah. um i don't know if they kind of changed their plans on what they want to show but uh yeah we'll, we'll have a lot more information about the game coming up you know i actually think probably in retrospect a year from now one of the biggest announcements uh that will have come out of this show is this smart glass stuff uh, smart glass is the idea that basically you're going to take your phone or your tablet yeah, and take yeah. your iPad or whatever and, and use it to control stuff on your 360. Um, and so it's go both going to be related to game stuff where you're actually going to be able to like draw plays in Madden or something like that. Um, but also just for fundamentally controlling the Xbox. Or, you know, browsing the web. I mean, it, you use, like, your tablet in conjunction with Connect to browse the web, which is kind of sure. interesting. I mean, that was a big announcement in and of itself is that if it works well, this will finally be a, a browser on a console that will let people like connect to the internet and, and uh, you know, find things. And I, I think a lot of that smart glass thing hinges on the if it works well uh, thing. So we'll see, and I, I did love how Trey Parker came out and made fun of that. Yeah, yeah. Just the, like, you know, sitting in your refrigerator controlling, you know, this and this. And right. Well, that, uh, and you know, that was another thing that was pretty cool. I think that was the most extensive look anybody uh, publicly has really seen of the South Park game in action. Um, which was what looked really funny and mm -hmm. uh, definitely looks just like the show, like they've been promising from the beginning. Yeah, certainly. So that was cool. And it's good because I think some people were wondering what the layoffs at Obsidian, you know, they talked about layoffs on the active South Park team. So people were kind of worried about the status of that, but yeah. pretty clearly it's something that THQ is focusing on. So, you know, one of the uh, competitors, I think, potentially for even game of the show after having seen it in action, Tomb Raider looked yeah. awesome. It looked really good. Uh, despite the fact that Lara Croft looks like she's just getting just beat up yeah. constantly they put her game. through the ringer in there. they really do but it was a really cool uh sequence of gameplay we actually got to see some combat finally uh we saw this cool sequence when she's like stuck in the white water rapids yeah. and falls off shooting down a through waterfall. the obstacles and yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it's oh, really cool uh, i think that's going to be a game to watch this coming week mm -hmm. um as they continue kind of showing it off and all that kind of stuff there were a couple other kind of weird announcements ascend new gods from the guys who made toy soldiers matter loco cycle um from uh, the Twisted Pixel guys. So, I mean, we don't really know what these games are yet. They could be cool. 
looks but who knows? Very different for twi Twisted Pixel. I mean, they've yeah. got, you know, Comic Jumper and Explosion Man right. and The Maw and like very cartoony, vivid, silly games. And now we've it's got like weird futuristic motorcycle Some thing. assassin motorcycle lady I, it's yeah, a robot I yeah no yeah. one knows yeah so. uh we saw that there was a couple other weird things in there forza horizon which had been kind of rumored for a long time yep. almost looks like a burnout style racer more arcadey mm -hmm. yeah we saw some uh, splinter cell blacklist oh, pretty cool. quite cool kind of adding in a bunch of like almost uh ubisoft's assassin's creed elements You're diving down from yeah, up yeah. on that thing yeah that was pretty yeah cool. they were kind of coming into the splinter cell uh kind of universe uh we saw Res Evil 6, yeah, right right behind us there. It looks like that sh game should be pretty awesome. Um, and they closed out with some Black Ops 2 stuff. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought, yeah, I was really excited when they were saying like, oh, we want to close with one blockbuster and we've got exclusive DLC coming to Xbox again first. And I was like, GTA, we're going to see GTA 5, <laughs> Rockstar's at E3. Like, right. I was so excited. It's like, oh, it's the stuff we saw already. Right. So. so, I mean, my takeaway personally was that a lot of good stuff a lot of uh, uh, strong games, but not a lot of surprises, which, you know, Microsoft, you kind of want to, particularly as one of those big uh, press briefings for one of the big console makers, it, at this point you kind of expect to get some surprise announcements yeah. and, and that kind of thing, and there wasn't a lot of that, and there definitely wasn't, I mean, one big thing that was not there was any hints about next-gen no, stuff. Absolutely not. Focus was very squarely on Xbox 360's future, Kinect's future, all that kind of stuff. So. I think uh, we can pretty uh, clearly conclude that Microsoft's going to be totally in for the long haul on the 360 do, uh, during the rest of 2012 and on into 2013. And it looks like Connect too. Yes, so, Connect awesome. is still a big deal for these guys. Sweet. So that's a takeaway. Well, we're going to be uh, taking a look at all the press conferences today. There's a bunch of them. We got mm -hmm. EA, we got Ubisoft, Sony later Sony on today, Sony later, and Nintendo's tomorrow. Yep. So uh, everybody. Uh, Stay tuned in. We're going to have lots more coverage, news stories, more video throughout the day. Thanks for watching.